In this series, you're going to learn about ChatGPT prompt engineering, and this will help you to write effective and useful prompts. And this is our part 10 video inside of this series. As a quick introduction, if you're new to this series, so basically throughout this series, we're going to be learning the following topics. So the first one is how to guide ChatGPT to think. The second one is the iterative prompt development. The third one is inferring slash summarizing text. The fourth one is transforming text. The fifth one is expanding text. And finally, the sixth is where you're going to learn how you can create your own chatbot. So this is, in summary, what we're going to be doing throughout this whole entire series. And in our previous part 9 video, we looked at how you can summarize and infer text. So if you're interested, you can also go check that video out as well. But however, inside of this part 10 video, we're going to be learning about what transforming text is. So what is actually transforming text? So transforming text is where you take one piece of text and then you transform it into another different type of piece of text. So for example, you can take a piece of text that's in a certain language and then you can convert that to a different language or you could also have a piece of text and then you can change that into a programming language, into a website and so on. So let's actually try this out with ChatGPT and see what examples we can actually make with this transforming text. So now we're inside of ChatGPT and basically today we're going to be doing three different prompts for transforming text. And just keep in mind that there's many different ways you can also transform text, but in this video we're just going to be going over three different prompts. So let's take out our first prompt, which is for translation. So here you can see that the title is translation, so I'm just going to delete that now. And then the prompt says, tell me what language the text in user messages are, and then translate them all into English. So you can see here, user messages is inside, all the text is inside of here, and each single one of them are in a different language. So for example, this one is here and I just wrote a hashtag so we know what it is. So system uh, performance is slower than normal. So this is what this one says. So I'm just going to remove this one now. And this one says my monitor has pixels that are not lighting. So I'm just going to remove that. And this one says my mouse is not working. This one says my keyboard has a broken control key. And this one says my screen is flashing. So now that we have our prompt ready and set for ChatGPT to run, let's just see if ChatGPT is going to be able to actually tell us what language they are and then translate them all into English. So let's just enter this and see what ChatGPT gives us. So here you can see that ChatGPT is starting to give us our answers. So it says the text and user messages is in multiple languages. So the first one it says is in French, the second one is in Spanish, the third one is in Italian, the fourth one is in Polish, and finally the fifth one is in Chinese. And the translations into English is the system performance is slower than usual. My monitor has pixels that do not light up. The third one says my mouse is not working. The fourth one, my control key is broken. And the fifth one says my screen is flickering. So here you can see ChatGPT successfully transformed all of this text into another piece of text such as English. And it was also able to give us what each of the text language was actually is. So this is our first prompt and now we're going to be moving on to our second prompt. So now let's move on to our second prompt and for our second prompt we're going to be doing a spell check slash grammar check. So this is what we're writing to ChatGPT. So our prompt says, proofread and correct the following text and rewrite the corrected version. If you don't find any errors, just say no errors found. And this is our text. So there is a beautiful rainbow in the sky and its colors are very vibrant. The weather is clearing up and people are coming to enjoy the scenery. So you can see that Grammarly, the one I have here, it's already detecting many mistakes inside of the sentence. So let's just see if ChatGPT is going to be able to transform this piece of text into the correct spelling slash grammar. So we're going to send this and let's see what ChatGPT gives us now. And here you can see that ChatGPT started and it just says certainly here's the corrected version of the text and it correctly said the text here. And this is what it said in response. So there is a beautiful rainbow in the sky and its colors are very vibrant. The weather is clearing up and people are coming out to enjoy the scenery. So here you can see that ChatGPT was successfully able to transform this piece of text to the correct spelling and grammar. And this is basically the second prompt, which is for how you can use ChatGPT to do a grammar or a spelling check. So now we're going to be doing our final prompt, which is for format conversion. So this is how it looks like. So here we have a data underscore JSON. So this is just some information that we're storing inside of this restaurant employees. And here there's just the name of the person. So Jace, Bob, and Kai, and then their email. So we have Jace1 at the rate gmail.com, Bob32 at the rate gmail.com, and KSI 
87 at the rate gmail.com. And then here while we're writing the ChatGPT is translate the following JSON into a HTML table with column headers and a title. So let's just see if ChatGPT is going to be able to transfer this piece of text into actual HTML code. And let's just see what we get from there. And here you can see ChatGPT said certainly below is the HTML code that translates the given JSON data into HTML table with column headers and the title. So here you can see ChatGPT actually took those three tables that we had, the information for Jace, Bob, and Kai, and put it inside of an HTML table here you can see. And if we put this into our actual HTML web page, let's just see how that looks like inside of a real web page. So here I actually pulled out that piece of text that we got from ChatGPT and put it inside of an HTML page. So this is how it looks like. So it has a title for restaurant employees and then it made a quick table for all of the name, title and email. So you can see Jace is here and the email for Jace is here, the name for Bob and the email for Bob and the name for Kai and the email for Kai is all here. And we could also ask ChatGPT to give us some CSS code to make this page look a lot better. And just like that, that's another way of how you can use ChatGPT to transform text. And that summarizes the third point and how you can transform text using ChatGPT. And that basically summarizes everything for this part 10 video on transforming text. And inside of our next video, we're going to start the next section for expanding text.